Hey everyone, I'm Anna aka 4 Bricks Tall, and today I'm reviewing the Astori 18mm f8 probe lens for toy and miniature photography. This lens comes in at just $719, so this is really exciting for a lot of hobby photographers who work in small scale and in tight environments. I'll be taking photos with this lens to see just how well it can get into those very small spaces like some of my LEGO models. Thank you to Astori for sending this lens for me to review. All opinions are of course my own, and you'll see the results I got from using this lens after a few weeks with it. Just some quick details about this lens before I show you some of those photos I took. It's a fully manual lens, so aperture control and focusing are done on the lens itself rather than on the camera body. Both the aperture and focus rings are very smooth to turn, geared, and declicked. This lens was clearly designed for making videos, but I'm going to use it mainly for stills since I've got a very niche use case. The probe lens comes in a black carrying case and in two parts. You assemble it by just locking those parts together. There are LEDs at the front of the lens, which you can power with the USB-C port that's higher up on the barrel and adjust the brightness with the controller. The 18mm f8 probe lens is made for APS-C cameras, so I'll be testing it with my Sony a6500. Our story makes a full frame version too, so check that out if you have a full frame camera. The aperture goes from f8 to f28, and you can get up to 2 times magnification. I could use that level of magnification for build details for example, but probably not for my minifigs. Because of the length and the magnification of the lens, just tapping the trigger lightly will cause a lot of shaking. Ideally, use a timer or a remote trigger when using this lens. Okay, let's get to the photos then. I've selected some of my mocks to shoot inside of, and I started with my space theme book nook, a very narrow model at 8 studs wide. The lens itself is very thin at just 23mm across. That's really useful for going through Lego doors and windows and into models to get those impossible perspectives. I would never be able to get this kind of shot without a probe lens or taking apart my Lego model. And again, that's mostly the point for me, to get inside. For the next test, I shot something a bit more typical, a small Lego building on a 16x16 plate. And this time I lit with an LED panel overhead, which meant I removed the roof of the model, a feature most modular Lego buildings have as well. The very cool thing is that the probe lens slides right through the door frame. It grazes a stud on the door though. If I remove the actual door, there's a bit more space and I could angle the lens a little bit more, but otherwise it's a straight through move. And finally, I shot my tiny house mock outdoors under sunny day conditions. I wanted to see if all the windows I built in were enough to light the interior. It was, but again, this was under blazing sunlight and I still had to use 1 over 8 to 1 over 20 shutter speed at ISO 100 and f11. The lens does go down to f8, but at that aperture, the image is a bit soft, so I stopped down and I think f11 is the sweet spot. Anyway, I was quite pleased with the photos I got in the 8 stud wipe mock. I'm happy with all the photos I took inside my LEGO models, but also, I really enjoyed the experience. So if you're a photographer of miniature scale scenes and want to get inside models or dioramas, the Astori Probe Lens may be your dream lens. Keep in mind that you'll need a sturdy tripod, remote trigger, and lighting to make the most of this lens, and you should already know how to shoot in manual mode. The Astori 18mm f8 Probe Lens is available for Sony E, Fuji X, Nikon Z, Canon R, L mount, and Micro Four Thirds. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Four Bricks Tall. Thanks for watching.